Hi guys and welcome back. In this video we will look at uh, the mechanism by which auxin works uh, and obviously go through the example question and summary. So auxin causes cell elongation which we saw in the last video is why things are able to bend um, towards stimuli. So um, here is pretty much a play by play. So um, light causes auxin to be transported towards the shaded side of the plant. Um, now auxin, once it's on the shaded side of the plant, causes active transport of hydrogen ions into the cell wall um, and this uh, uses an ATPase enzyme. Um, now this naturally decreases the pH of the cell wall um, and this starts to firstly uh, disrupt the hydrogen bonding within the cellulose of the wall um, and also is it starts to create a, a much better environment for the um, enzyme expansion. So it can start to loosen the cellulose in the cell wall by digesting it slightly. All in all, uh, your wall becomes uh, less rigid um, and this allows your walls to elongate um, as they take up water. So naturally, um, because water is constantly being transported up your shoot or um, down your roots, um, water can enter cells. Usually cells are just held turgid because of their cell walls, but because their cell walls are now being digested slightly by expansins um, and being loosened by this disruption of uh, hydrogen bonding, um, the cell walls can swell a little bit more and allow um, the plasma membrane to expand as well. Um, now the actual mechanism of auxin transport is slightly more contentious. Um, it's been found that the enzymes phototropin 1 and phototropin 2, um, their activity is promoted or stimulated by blue light, which is a large component of white light and sunlight in general. Hey guys, to continue watching this video completely free and unlock hundreds of other super concise and exam board specific A-level biology videos, just click the button. Join me today and together let's make A-level biology a walk in the park.